Thank you, Carmen. Hi, my name is Kylie and I will be talking about the Green Labs certification program. I have been working for Green Labs since its relaunch last year. The Green Lab certification program started in 2019, so all the labs that we currently have certified are our first ever certified labs on campus. We have certified seven labs this year and have two more that are waiting to be certified when we are able to return to campus. Our system is based on the certification process of My Green Labs. For those of you who do not know about My Green Labs, they are a nonprofit dedicated dedicated to transforming the life sciences, industrial sciences, and the healthcare industries by creating a culture of sustainability through science. We encourage you to make your lab into a green lab because not only do you reduce waste, energy, and water consumption, you also prolong your equipment's life and save money. To become a green lab, there are three steps, pre-assessment, implementation, and certification. In the first stage, a lab that is interested would fill our interest form on our website or contact a member from Green Labs. The form asks us standard questions, including your lab type and asks us for the types of practices that you already do in your lab. There are five areas we focus on in the lab, water efficiency, cold storage, energy efficiency, waste management, green office, and other green behaviors. For water efficiency, we look at autoclaving habits like shut the sash, restricting water use, and using water-wise washing. For cold storage, we look for whether you keep a freezer inventory and have good management of materials within. We recommend cleaning out the fridge every two or three months and throwing out old samples. One of the key components of this area is setting your ULT to minus 70 degrees Celsius, which ties in with the freezer challenge. If you are participating in the freezer challenge, then you will gain points for this section and vice versa. For energy efficiency, the two key points would be making sure you are turning off your equipment and putting them on power saving mode. For waste management, we look for the items you recycle in your lab and how you keep an inventory of the materials you buy. We look into whether you recycle plastics or gloves or if you compost. The reason why keeping inventories is important is because it makes the purchaser aware of the amount of stuff they have and therefore reduces buying excess materials. For green office, we look at whether you recycle in the office space, limit printing, and bring your own lunch. As for the last category, it is mainly a section for the labs to gain extra points on additional healthy practices they do in the lab. Last quarter, we had the honor of certifying Hopkins Lab as an Emerald Certified Lab. Aside from their amazing attitude towards sustainability, we found their creative usage of recycling decorated mason jars as an excellent way to store samples. Another item we like to promote in this section is the EHNS Biohazard Incineration and Chem Cycle Program. It is important we know whether you are a wet or dry lab because we have a different scaling system for each. From this, our team is able to calculate a score of what level on our point system you are on. After this, we would schedule a meeting where we would have a walkthrough of your lab. This meeting is for us to get a better understanding of how the lab functions and areas where they can improve on. The next step is implementation, where we give the lab one month to implement our suggestions. Usually halfway through the month, we like to send a check-in email to check to see if there are any questions or concerns from the lab. Once the implementation period is almost up, we schedule a few final meeting for us to see the changes in the lab. After the final walkthrough, the team calculates a new score for the lab and tells them what level they're certified. There are four levels of certification, bronze, silver, gold, and emerald, with bronze being the lowest and emerald being the highest. If you score above 60, you are bronze certified. Above 70, you are silver. Above 80, you are gold. And above 90, you are emerald, which is the highest level you can reach. If you have any more questions regarding certification, feel free to contact me through my email, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have regarding the certification process. Thank you, Kylie. And the cool part about becoming Green Lab certified is that it opens you up to all the possibilities that the Green Lab team has to offer, starting with our pilot glove recycling program. This program collects all of your uncontaminated gloves and turns it into usable furniture and various other eco-responsible plastic products. So how does this work, right? Well, it's simple. Once you begin the process of becoming a Green Lab, this option now becomes available to you. You will be asked by your designated team member if you would like to enroll. 
Then we will give you a properly labeled collection container for your use. Once full, you alert us by filling out a short form on our website. We will then make our rounds to collect your gloves. Once we have collected one cubic meter of gloves, we will ship them off to Kimberly Clark to be repurposed, thanks to the collaboration with the EHNS team. Again, I'd like to emphasize that this program is in its infancy. We have structured this to be adaptable for expansion. So the more involvement that we have, the more streamlined and efficient this process will become. We all know that labs are vital, not only for the development of advanced scientific research, but also to grow and reinforce established knowledge in learning minds. The issue is that waste is an elemental piece of any lab. Our average monthly shipment of hazardous waste ranges from four to seven tons. 85% of that comes from research in teaching laboratories. The remaining 15% comes from various other departments that support research, such as remodeling, construction, renovations, facilities, and arts. What I'm trying to say is it is us. We need to focus on our footprint. And so to combat this, become a green lab, an efficient lab, and enroll in our glove recycling program. It's a small thing you can do for yourself and our planet. And on top of that, your lab then plays an integral role in diverting waste from landfills, which aids UCR's zero waste goal. The more we as a campus put into Green Labs, the more we will get out of it. We are one years old, so participation and feedback are crucial for us to make progress that is needed to make programs such as this structurally solidified so that we can begin on new projects to advance our appearance and influence on campus. Now, let's learn about all the exciting research that we are doing to increase our understanding of efficiency on campus. Pushali?